just like anybody else, you know, you think you know them from afar and then you get to meet them and you're like, this isn't exactly how I painted you, you know, he's a, he's a guy that kept to himself at times, but then would be very bubbly would sing boys to men, you know, on the team bus. Is your fridge running? Then you better go catch it. <laughs> he had his quiet moments and then he had uh, some other moments where he was a little bit louder, but uh, a, a true uh, person, I, I would say, and uh, very caring and, and giving. Landon's like from a very tight-knit family and you meet them and you're like, these are awesome people. Hi, hey, mama. They're a good support system, and I think they've been vital to him. I couldn't imagine what he would have been like if he didn't have them around. Say hi. hi. Hey, turn and smile. Say oh. hi. But when you get to meet people like that and see kind of where he grew up, you, you understand him. And Landon's still Landon. He was there for everyone, uh, especially the new players, the young players. He was the one that would make contact with them, make them feel welcome to, to the locker room, to the team. I think that really made him special as a leader, whether they were kind of in the starting 11 or uh, whether there was a rookie from college, he was one of us. Well, I think he led by um, example, so he, he wasn't as vocal. You know, uh, he got on guys to keep you engaged. I think that's how he spoke. Never to belittle you or put you down, but uh, his way of being a leader, I think, was by example. Every day I could see the desire on him. He has a desire of a leader. The guidance of players around him definitely made him a lot of special. Good example of how to be a good teammate. He knew what he had to do for us to win games. He knew uh, what he had to do off the field to uh, with U.S. Soccer, with Nike to be the face of it. And to, like I said, um, and he handled it, you know, well. He didn't like the limelight, but he understood the responsibility that he had um, as an American soccer superstar. Uh, we were roommates, and uh, so we would go to dinners together when we had times off. You know, we were, we, were, we were the only two young kids on the team. And, you know, little by little, year by year, he took that role and that leadership role by both hands and he, and he ran with it. That's, that's a lot to handle for a you know, 23, four year old at that time. Every lens and every finger is pointed at you. If you don't play, if the team doesn't play well, you didn't play well. Something doesn't go right off the field is because of you. For him to be able to take that and to still be able to you know, perform at a high level and, and be who he was on the field and, and still trying to find himself as a man and who he was as a person you know, off the field, it's easy to talk about it, but it's not easy to do. Certainly, you know, the bank flow, certainly the attention, certainly other things could change, but he was still deep down just a kid from Redlands. Landon was a superstar when he was a, a teenager, but he was always grounded. Landon always had uh, humility about him. Landon Donovan was making you know, a million dollars for anybody else in Major League Soccer was making a million dollars, you know. He was making more money than any American in this league. And the guy would wear like soccer turf shoes, you know, to the airport while we were all wearing Air Maxes or we were wearing like some sort of sneakers. This guy was still, you know, in his LA Dodgers hat. You know, just the most like random things. He was just a regular guy. As I hope all of you know by now, um, I've decided that this will be my last year playing. Here we have a, um, a young player at the top of his profession that just needed time and space just to, um, just to walk away. You could very much say he was ahead of his time, right? Because we see athletes at the grandest of stages, now I'm talking about mental health, now I'm talking about taking a step back, needing to do what's good for them. He was on about that in 2010. The, the athlete's mind operates a little bit differently. Yeah, he's probably going through a lot, a lot of stuff that he didn't tell people. You know, sometimes that's people's ways of, uh, of dealing with it. So I'm gonna take some time, you know, to in, enjoy the things that he probably felt that he hadn't been able to enjoy. And I can completely, completely understand that. Well, you just uh, making a player that gonna be there forever. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He deserved to be there. I think generations will come. 
people <clears throat> like maybe in 10 years the, the new generation will never heard about our team and they won't know but he gonna be there uh, today we we are orphans of uh, players like that